You just clicked on this video, and statistics say that about 63% of you tapped your phone screen to do it. For the desktop users out there, you probably use the mouse. But have you ever stopped to think about how it's basically a psychic, perfectly predicting every move you make? That red light underneath it must be working overtime, right? Well, to answer that, we first need to go back. I'm talking way back. 1964, the year the Beatles were in the prime, Muhammad Ali became the heavyweight champion of the world, and the world's first computer mouse was invented. It was basically just a wooden box. Yeah, literal wood. Splinter heaven. It had two plastic wheels, each with holes around the edges. This wasn't just a design quirk, it was the heart of the operation. Inside the mouse, a beam of light shot through these holes and landed on a sensor. Each time the light passed through, it sent a signal. A little Morse code for the cursor, telling it where to go. But here's the catch. It couldn't handle more than one direction at a time. It was like trying to pat your head and rub your belly simultaneously. Fast forward a bit and the tech world gave us the ball mouse, courtesy of Xerox. You might be too young to remember those, but they basically had a ball inside that could roll in any direction. It was like the first mouse, but on steroids. This ball would spin and turn, guiding the cursor in every which way. But it had a weakness, the dreaded enemy of all tech, Dorito dust. One too many snacks and your once mighty mouse would become as useful as a chocolate teapot. Enter the 90s. Google first launched, friends first aired on TV, and the world's first optical mouse was created, strutting in like a little tech superhero. This gadget ditched the ball for something way cooler, a camera. Yeah, your mouse is taking two to 6,000 photos of your desk every single second. And I know what you're thinking, that seems like a lot of photos. Yes, it does, viewer. And don't worry, each photo is instantly discarded. No 99 cent mouse storage plan is needed for now. These are micro images, tiny snapshots that the mouse uses to figure out where it's heading next. Let's break it down further. Inside this optical mouse, there's this tiny camera, right? Each of the 6,000 images per second it takes is a simple black and white map of the surface beneath it. A mouse's brain, a microchip, is then comparing each new image to the last one. It's looking for differences in the terrain, kind of like a high-tech game of spot the difference. The changes it picks up translate into movements of your cursor. It's like a detective piecing together clues, but at lightning speed. Think about it. Your mouse is doing some serious heavy lifting, it's not just taking photos, it's analyzing them in real time. Every shift of your hand, every slight move is captured and interpreted. It's a constant rapid fire process of observation, analysis, and reaction. This little device on your desk is doing more than just following orders. It's actively interpreting your actions, almost like it's reading your mind. But here's the kicker. If you've ever tried to use your mouse in raw dog mode, you'd know that not all surfaces are created equal. Then you've got to do the whole thing where you lift up the mouse, bring it back down, and desperately try to make it do what you want it to do. That's because mice love surfaces with texture, something they can get a good picture of. So, mom, my $95 mouse pad is more than just a fashion statement. It's a necessity. Okay, so as you click, drag, and scroll, just remember how far this little puppy has come. Starting as a clunky wooden box to a sleek device that's practically reading the surface like Braille. It's a journey from the simple to the sophisticated, from mechanical to optical wonders. The computer mouse is more than just a tool. It's a testament to human ingenuity, a tiny piece of technology that's become an integral part of our digital lives. You go, girl. If you enjoyed this mouse breakdown, then subscribe to keep satisfying your curiosity. You've got a lot more videos on the way. Thanks, and see you soon.